This is Jody Namian at Cymatica Studios, and today I'm going to talk about uh, what is the difference between cymatics and Masaru Emoto's work. Uh, this is something that I have been asked a couple of times uh, in relation to cymatics, and is cymatics the same thing or have anything to do with Masaru Emoto's work, who wrote several books. One is uh, messages in water and uh, hidden message of water um, and uh, there there is a difference um, cymatics is uh, the study of waves um, and in particular the study of sound waves made visible um, so uh, the images um, that uh, you will see that are cymatic images uh, will often look similar to um, the work by Masaru Emoto, except there are very different ways of uh, arriving at those images. So with cymatics, um, sound waves are used to vibrate something, whether it's a sheet of metal or a sheet of latex or even just a pool of water. and um, the patterns uh, that are formed, the geometric um, patterns that are formed, um, are visible and are um, the size of whatever surface you are vibrating. So if it's a 12 inch by 12 inch surface, you'll have a 12 inch by 12 inch pattern. Um, and uh, Master Imoto's work is, um, what he does is uh, he is photographing with a microscope um, water crystals. So the photographs that you see of his work are many times enlarged um, and they are of uh, frozen um, crystals of water. So um, they are not photographs of uh, uh, things being um, vibrated with sound um, as cymatics are. Um, and uh, the, the similarities the, the one thing that they do have in common um, is that uh, both, um, both practices are showing the, the um, geometric structures that, uh, that uh, make up um, uh, the world around us, essentially. Um, and these geometric structures that you can see um, if you, if you uh, look closely either using a microscope or using sound waves to, um, to uh, illuminate these structures. So um, that, that is uh, the uh, similarities and the difference between um, cymatics um, and uh, Masaru Emoto's work with water crystals.